Do you want to aim like this? One enemy remaining. One enemy remaining. Or like this. Or maybe even like that. But let me guess, you're in school or you work 9 to 5. And you don't have a lot of time after school or work to spend training your aim. Well, you see, you don't have to. You don't have to spend a single minute training to improve your aim. Don't trust me? This is me. Keep firing. And they never aim train. Got you curious now? Now grab a snack or a drink and let me tell you a couple of things that are gonna instantly change the way you look at aim and help you improve in no time. And yes, instantly. This is not a clickbait. First and arguably the biggest thing holding you back are the wrong expectations and unrealistic goals. Let me explain. If you're playing Valorant, you probably heard of Tens, or if you're a CS2 player, you must likely heard of Scream. See, the way these people aim is achievable for most people, but their overall level of skill is not. All these people you look up to, and I'm not referring just to Tens or Scream, but all the big names you see in professional scene, they all spend thousands and thousands of hours, sacrifice their social life, work, teenage years, college, and whatnot, to get to the point where they are now. It's a sacrifice that most people can't even make, even if they wanted. Why am I telling you this now? I'm telling you this to break a myth that you can't be old, or let's say in your 30s, and still be nuts in a game. Slow down, take your time, and relax. Aim is just one part of the equation, like a little part. And just like in math, in order to get to a right answer, you need to look at the whole problem, not just one part of it. See, math and aim are not that different. Some would say that in order to become better at math, you need to solve math problems over and over again. In gaming, they will be aim training over and over and over again. But that's wrong. In order to solve a math equation, you don't need to do it over and over again. I mean, you could, and after numerous tries, you would end up being lucky and getting to a right answer. But the proper and the most efficient way of doing it is understanding the problem. Now, all of this might sound a little bit discouraging, but stay with me. That's why we're gonna jump on a second advice, and that is don't overthink. How many times have you changed your sensitivity or looked for guides such as how to find the perfect sensitivity or tense Valorant settings? Heard of saying one man's trash, another man's treasure? Dude, this is not a thrift store. Every person is different, and settings they use are what works best for them and what they are most comfortable with. What works best for their playstyle and the gear they are using? Here is a quick way how you can find your perfect sensitivity in a matter of like a couple of minutes. Disclaimer, not every game requires the same aim style or sensitivity. Your quote-unquote perfect sensitivity should allow you to flick, track, and adapt to enemy player movement in a game of your choice. You're not going to play Valorant on a super fast sensitivity like you would play Call of Duty on, right? Naturally, you're going to adapt to the speed and a style of a game. So how do we solve this? Boot up a game of your choice. Let's use CS for this. Bruh. Go in a firing range and try finding a sensitivity that will allow you to keep your crosshair while you're strafing left and right. So why should you do this? See, your character moves the same way and speed than the enemy character does. And if you can't keep up with your own movement, then you can't keep up with enemy movement. Naturally, some people are better than others, and you'll be able to do this in a much wider range of sensitivities. So, once you get to the range of sense that works for you, play around until it feels just the right to flick and track. But Mickey, now I changed my sensitivity and it's gonna take me time to adapt, blah blah blah. It's okay, now that you mentioned time, we're moving on a next tip. You have way more time than what you think to shoot an enemy. If you miss those first couple of shots, good luck winning a fight once a panic kicks in. What are you aiming at? Speed is not always a better option. Slowing down can actually give you faster time to kill. The simplest way of explaining this, it's better to delay your flick or shot and fire 5 bullets with 100% accuracy 
Then spray and pray on your enemy in hope of being faster than him and hitting like one third of your shots. What are you Easiest way to practice this is with column aim. What is column aim? Look at it this way. There are two common grip styles when aiming. Tense and calm. Name tells you everything. Tense style means you're applying a lot of pressure to your mouse, which can result in faster and more snappier aim style. But on the flip side, you will have harder time tracking and micro adjusting. Calm aim, in other hand, means having a relaxed grip. Your grip should feel floaty and soft. You will have easier time clicking heads on enemy and fixing overshooting or undershooting when flicking. Not to mention that tracking will feel much more natural and your overall aim will be much more consistent. The issue is, people kinda feel like they're gonna be slower this way, but that's okay. A good player will combine both grip styles in playing, but generally a good advice is to start with a calm aim and as you become better, occasionally test for faster flicks and all that will come naturally to you. And last advice that I have for you guys, which will have probably bigger impact than anything I previously said, understanding gunplay mechanics. Every game is different, no matter how similar they seem. Valorant and CS are a really good example for this. You would think that you can play these two games the same way, but you would be absolutely wrong. In Valorant, you're better off tapping and bursting, while in CS, mastering the recoil and spraying is pretty much the meta. See, sometimes you aren't missing shots because of your aim, you're missing shots because of the game and how guns work. Each game is different, and each game has different guns. And each gun has its own limitations in the form of first shot accuracy, recoil pattern, accuracy reset timers, and accuracy when moving. Understanding these four key behaviors of your gun will allow you to decide how and when to use a certain gun. It will also allow you to figure out what playstyle suits you the best. Well, just like we did before, hop into a shooting range and pick a gun. Let's say it's Vandal. If we shoot and observe, we can see a recoil pattern coming in. Dragging your mouse the opposite way will counter the recoil. Also, pay attention to recoil reset timers. This will show you how fast you can shoot to maintain gun's optimal accuracy. I can't exaggerate this enough. Slow down and relax. Take a step back from how you play now and let the game mechanics come naturally to you. If you have to think about it, you're doing it wrongly. Your brain should spend time thinking about in-game tactics and outplaying an enemy, while the aim and gun mechanics should all be run by the unconscious part of your brain. Now that you're on the end of the video, I know that all of this wasn't really what you were expecting to see in this video, but know that this is just a tip of the iceberg. But your aim journey should start at the beginning and not at the bottom of a rabbit hole. So I hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, let me know in the comments what you think and if I have missed any important advice or maybe you have advice to give to our fellow gamers. Peace.